scholars, so you should already know that today we're going to be doing data conferences. I'm just going to show you some different ways to edit on this sheet because as you'll see, this is in here as an image. So one of the easiest things you can do is use this drawing tool. So if you would like to, you can open up, use this drawing tool. I'm lucky enough that I actually have this tablet and my pen. So when I use it, I can actually write right on it and it's not too bad, but not everybody has a tablet and pen at home. So the other way you can do this is by using text boxes in OneNote. So some of you have already figured out that if you like click over here, it makes a new text box. So if I want to put interest outside of school, if I like reading, baking, playing with my dog. So if I wanted to, I can actually put this right here and I can even make it bigger or smaller. So we can use text boxes to actually fill that in and we can do a bunch. So all you gotta do is click in a blank space over to the side. So if I wanted to put my goal, um, so my goal is to score above grade level. So if we're talking about star scores and your score, it, your goal is to score above grade level, you just type it in and then you can move it over. If you want to, if you want to make it a special color font, you know I like to type in purple and I like size 14. That's just under the home tab. So if you wanted to make it bigger or if you want to make it bold or if you wanted to color it or you wanted to change the font, that's going to be all right here. So I can change it and then I can even shrink it so it fits in this box. So those are the two ways. So you can use the drawing tool, or if that's going to be hard, you can just click and make a new text box and then drag it over to where it's supposed to be. Looking at this, um, just so you guys know, if you took the star and I had your scores from the end of sixth grade, your score will be here. Here's the star that we recently took. So your scaled scores, like your number of points, and then the grade equivalent is like what grade level you scored at. This will auto fill in with a graph with your score, so you can see if you went up, if you, this one's higher than the one before, or if it went down. Here is your scaled scores for your state test. So for third, fourth, and fifth grade, you guys didn't get to take a test in sixth grade. And then the level. So we're always looking for levels threes and fours, but we're always just kind of looking to go up a level. So when you're in your data meetings, we'll talk about how many points you were away from the next level. If I was able to get your final average from sixth grade, I did put it here for math. Um, we can look up what your current average is in school tool and put that here, but you should all have your first marking period grade auto populated as well. And as we fill in these boxes, our final average will automatically calculate. So those are just some things about this data sheet and how to use OneNote to fill it in.